had an interesting experience this weekend, something that I thought was going to go one way, and it didn't. And it, that sort of leads me to the try it, you like it. But I also had another try it, you like it experience last week on Photo Club Day on Thursday. I mentioned in, uh, I mentioned in the previous um, Day in the Life video that some students wanted to, to get involved in the channel and how I feel like that is just sort of a natural outgrowth of me as a person and my role with, with I'd like to think of myself as the mentor teacher type. I told the students, I dropped my pen. I told the students one time, they said something like, well, you're the teacher. And I was like, I don't know about that. If you're not learning anything, how can I be teaching anything? That's a whole nother conversation. Try it, you'll like it. So this uh, this clip I'm going to show, I'm going to, I put, I, I shot a couple of clips after their little episode on Thursday. So I'm going to try to piece this together and let, let you let it make sense. Uh, so here we go. We're going back in time. We're going back to last Thursday. So here here we go. Here's the here's the story. It comes out of Photography Club. The story that leads to this. So we're in the photography club, we do the you know things we do, and then we get to the part where it's like, okay, what do we want to do as our photo shoot activity for today? And and two of the young ladies go, we want to make a video. In fact, we want it ultimately unfolded. We want to be in your video, and we want to probably do it going forward. And they're like, yeah, video would be kind of cool to have YouTube. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what to do. I don't know how. I don't know what. The whole, the whole in, the whole lack of information was the stumbling block for them to do something. But they saw an opportunity. That is an opportunity I would like to have a part of. The whole idea that passing this creativity on to another group of people. But here's their first segment. Hey guys, um, we're Mr. Snodgrass's students from Photography Club, and we're here to talk about movies and TV shows. First, we're going to start with Riverdale. Um, I hate that show. <laughs> I hate it. Oh my god. Um, it's not good. It's um, too cheesy. Of course there's a rich girl and a redhead. That just happens. What's your opinion, Elena? I actually kind of like it. I used to like it actually, but now I don't because I realize how dumb it is. Black Hood is going to eat you. Okay. Um, what, what else? Do you I think? love that show, first of all. Uh, Cole Sprouse. Love him. Overrated. KJ Apa, love him. Kind of overrated. Okay. Um, yeah, I love it. Okay, next one. On My Block. That is a good show. That is so I love that show. It's a good show. Okay, the next one is Orange is the New Black. That is my favorite oh, show. I love that show. Time. Love oh. it. It's so good. It's so inappropriate. So But it's really good. It's really good but it's really good. Gosh, so oh, uh, 13 and up, please. Yeah. No, like 14. Four, 15 and up. <laughs> Are you 15? I'm 14. 14 and up! Okay. Next one is Sex Education. It's new to Netflix. It is a Netflix series. So good. So good. It really is. So good. Just watch it, it's, okay? It's pretty interesting. It's very interesting. It's also 14 and up! Yeah, so. That too. Uh, Friends. We love Friends. Friends is an amazing show. Yeah. I There's so much to talk about Friends, but like, it's just... It's so great. Like every freaking actor and actress in that, the best. Um, I watch it every single night before I go to bed, and I've watched the whole entire series 17 times. So, yeah. Um, to all the boys I've ever loved before, um, it's okay, but it's overrated. True. It's very overrated. Okay, I watch it when I want to cry. <laughs> she watches it when she wants to cry. That's kind of odd, actually. That's a little odd. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Um, no. The next one is okay. Sierra Burgess, The Biggest Loser, or whatever it's called. That's overrated, too. Like, it's good, but yeah. it's just... Just because it has Noah Centeno, Centeno in it, what, however you say it, doesn't mean it's good. Yeah. I think it was okay. He's, he's hot, but he's overrated as frig. Yes. yes. I said frig. Um... You, that show, I've never seen it, okay. but people are telling me about It's it. a new show, and basically this guy, he's very odd. Yeah. He's like stalking this girl that he ends up falling in love with. It's just weird. You should watch it. Next movie, Hush. Hush. So, Hush is a pretty good movie, 
Um, I honestly, when I first watched it, I was a bit spooked when I watched it because I kind of like jumped a lot. Um, it's pretty good. Kind of loving it. So yeah, I think it's a really good movie. And when I first watched it, I was a little spooked too. But that's how I am with like literally every movie. So it's okay. But it was really good. And um, I also <laughs> not learned, actually. I also learned sign language, but I also don't remember it. Yeah, so. she was like. I don't know, something. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay. Oh. Um. <laughs> Jane the Virgin. Absolutely love it. Yeah. So, that's a pretty good show. I like it. Um, it's, okay. The thing is, I have mixed feelings on it. I like it. Kind of don't. Kind of do. Mm. Um. Okay, next. I wa- no, for that show. I watched probably like a couple vid er, videos. A couple episodes, and I did not really like it, so sorry about it. Next one is The Strangers, the movie. We love that. It's both. a very good movie. Both of them. Both of them. Wait, there's two? Yes. Yes. The second one is amazing. Bird Box. It was totally overrated. so good, but it's so overrated, it kind of makes me not want to think that it's good. Yeah. Because that means... kind of, like, ticks me off, that it's like, oh my god, Bird Box. It's kind of like AirPods. Like, why? Okay, she AirPods. Really just AirPods. I can't. I can't do AirPods. AirPods. Okay, but the thing is, with AirPods, you can also wear AirPods if you have really long hair and like hide them. From your teacher. Yeah. Or just get. Well, the teacher that you just that be. doesn't like you listening to music. Sorry, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Um, Escape life. Room. That oh. is a good movie. I saw it in theaters. It was really good. It was kind of spooky. Um, I feel like. The younger, not the younger, but like the more teenager you are, like and not adult, the more you're gonna like it because I feel like it's a little cheesy in some certain ways, but it's still a really good movie. So Split, Split is amazing. I am obsessed with Split. My um, parents didn't let me watch that for some reason, so uh, you'll have to watch it. Um, so Split is awesome because my favorite character is Hedwig, of course. Hedwig is awesome. He is a child child um he's amazing we love that okay the office i hate that show it's the worst show ever freaking created i hate it so much so yeah sorry sorry if you <laughs> if you disagree with me you can cry about it because i freaking hate that show they're coming for your head it's the okay. worst it's like the camera angles are so annoying and like the oh my god i just hate it so much it's uh angry. halloween the Mike, new Michael Myers movie. Oh, that looks kind of spooky. It is. It's really scary. Okay, so the end kind of had me spooked because it was a cliffhanger. Um, okay, I was gonna say that was so I was a bit confused on it. Um, also, the beginning kind of confused. Uh, didn't really make sense. But like, it was also very good. So, okay, the last one. It's a movie, and it's called The Taking of Deborah Logan. It is so scary. It is so scary. I've seen so many scary movies like ever in my whole entire life. And this is the scariest one by far, and it's based on a true story, and I kind of wanted to cry. Just saying. I actually kind of did cry in it. It's so scary. What is it The Taking of Deborah Logan. And you can, it's not on Netflix, and I don't, it's, it's it usually cool. does not play on DirecTV, but you can rent it on YouTube for $3.99, okay? And you get it for 48 hours, so do it and watch it and get scared. We love getting scared. Thanks for watching this. Um, if you go to this school, not going to name it. Um, join photography club because it's pretty freaking dope. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's the best. We have fun in here. Yeah. Obviously, we're filming a video. That was their views on some TV shows and movies. Um, I told Addie she needs to she needs to learn some new adjectives. Um, she can't use that same adjective. I don't even like that adjective. She can't use that adjective over and over again. The interesting thing was. She knew what I was talking about. She knew what an adjective was. So, anyway, that is um, Addie and uh, um, Elena's what they what they like segment. So that was that was Addie and Elena, and uh, their their segment on things. So so they want to come on board with some uh, regular content that would go into the others' voices or in others' words, playlist. So that's, that's kind of the plan. So I'm willing to give it a try and see what happens. I'm willing to, to, to go out there and, and, and give it a try. 
uh, because it seems like it fits with who I am as a person. Try it, you'll like it. So the, the, the thing that happened this weekend, this is going to be kind of a long cutaway. So back in the day, years ago, back, um, I guess when I was in college, um, early 80s, I learned to snow ski. I love downhill, downhill ski. Um, I, so I learned to downhill ski, and then I learned to water ski. And then I went downhill skiing and then water skiing. And I did that for, you know, on and off for a while. So, this weekend, it's, it snowed. My wife goes, hey, we're going cross-country skiing. We're going up here to the Lemon Lake Park. You want to you wanna come? I was like, yeah. That's not a, probably just like, you know, I've skied. I'm not, I've not cross-country skied. Uh, th th this is the, this is what happened. So this is my first time cross country skiing and my observation is that if the ski goes through the powdery snow and hits the asphalt trail, that is a bad thing. The results of that are not going to be uh, good. When that doesn't happen, my first impression is it's a lot like walking with big planks on your feet. It is nothing like water skiing. It is nothing like downhill skiing. So that's, that's my uh, first impression. guy who has done this before and he said my uh, my experience of hitting the asphalt was consistent with his hitting asphalt with a cross-country ski not not a good thing the wind is kicking up so I am going to bring this segment to a close On uh, a side note, walking in cross-country boots is much easier than walking in downhill boots. So that was my cross-country skiing experience and my takeaway. When I, I used to have this nightmare. It was a recurring nightmare. I'd have it, I don't know, every two, I haven't had it in a while, but I used to have it three, four, five, six times a year. And, and, and it, it was a long period of time in my life that I had this nightmare. I would go to this place to go skiing and there would be no snow, which makes downhill skiing very difficult. Um, and, and in my dream, my nightmare, I was always like hitting these asphalt patches and falling down or the rocky patches or places where there was, you know, sand. It was, you know, a nightmare. It could be anything. Well, that's what this was like. I would be like just about, I kind of got this groove thing, boom, down I would go. So, hit that asphalt, not fun. Anyway, that was, that was my snow skiing experience. Now, my expectation was one thing, my reality was other. Did I like it? I don't feel like, I don't feel like that experience was a fair test of whether I would like cross country skiing or not, but it, it did invoke a great deal of anxiety because it tapped into that nightmare frustration. Try it, you'll like it. You never know. So here we go. We'll close this out with this summary thought. There's some things you can look at and go, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna like that. And, and I'm pretty sure like getting bit by a snake, I would not like that. I do not need to try, hey, I'm gonna see how that feels. No, 
Getting bit by a dog even, getting bit by a turtle. I don't want to get bit by really anything. I don't even want to get bit, bit by a mosquito, to be honest. I don't have to try everything to know whether or not I'll like it. But then there are other things is like, if you don't try it, you won't know. And, and there's, a, there's this tension between the wisdom of experience that tells you whether you should or should not try it and being open-minded to new experiences that you really sometimes can't predict. So use, use good judgment as you go through life. Should you try it? Should you not try it? So try it, don't try it, but whatever you do, use your wisdom as you, as you make that decision, but be open-minded to new experiences. Be open-minded and, and uh, decide, you know, is this something that can become an enjoyable part of your future? That's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications, leave me a comment, a question, a suggestion. Give me some thoughts and feedback about what you think about the student shows and, and how you think they fit with who I am as a person or, or whatever. Uh, I would love to hear some feedback. And also, if you have ideas and suggestions for them, I'm sure they would also love to, to see that. Meanwhile, you can look forward to more shows from Gnarly and Nammons and from Gnarly, Charlie and Jacinda and uh, Addie and Elena, I think. And there's another another Grace and this guy, uh, Jack, Grace and Jack. They're, it's going to be interesting to see what happens because, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to try it. I'm sure I've said all the things I need to say and probably a whole lot more. So, therefore, I will see you in the next episode. Oh, yeah.